Okay guys, after a very long time Today is February 22 2020 My last uploaded video was uh, January January ba to? Or December? Last week of, the, of December And we're gonna talk Tagalog Not Bisaya because we'll have a special video for today I actually have a lot of videos Pero ang problema, hindi pa siya na-edit. Ang dami-dami. Pero, uunahin natin i-upload ang video na to. Because, this will be all about house building in the Philippines. So, murag ko ano ba? OFW. OFW success story. House building in the Philippines. I'm gonna show you guys yung progress ng bahay magkano yung nagastos for the trusses for the structural ganun and yung roof impossible na gagastusin for the doors and windows and here is with us Gideon hi bulingit <laughs> bulingit Gideon hi mama hi Gideon say hi to the vlog Hi. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Da, Gideon. Da. How about Kuya? Kuya is here. How old is Kuya? How old are you, Kuya? Four. Four. What <laughs> are you doing, Kuya? Hi, naku. Games. And. Hello. Jipura. Hmm. <laughs> ano masasabi mo? So currently guys, we are in Kabangahan, Mabini, Bohol. It's around 110 kilometers away from the city of Tagbilaran, yung main city ng Bohol. And papakita ko sa inyo yung view from here. I mean, kung gaano kaganda yung place. Like eto. Actually, hindi siya makita masyado since Merong mga tanim but I'm gonna sh show you guys later kung gaano siya kaganda right there. Yan. A few moments later. Nga pala, right now we are cooking for our lunch. Delayed lunch. Meron tayo dito malaking isda. I don't know what's it what it's called. Pero andito yung chef natin, naka Psalm 63 verse 1. What, what does it say? Anong sabi ng Psalm 63 verse 1? Basa lang. Christ. Ang ginoo ang ako magbalantay o walay makulang. Kanako. Nan? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Huwag na po tayo isa ka chef, Ari, ang iyang giluto. Sinog ba? Huh? What's up? What's up, man? Napoy dogi. Sipangana ni Ngiro Ajip. Daniel. Daniel dog. Ito ah. Pia. Pia. So, Romolo. Ang amo ah, yung sa amin, yung Pia nyo, Miss Universe sa amin, aso lang. Ha? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Pia, Miss Universe 2018. Pagawa kang aso ng kapatid ko. Ito din, meron din siyang alagang Our pusa. Rare, rare cat because the cat has two distinct eyes, color of the eyes. So, jan, sige, dito sa ano, my shadow. Asa? It has the other side of her eyes. Babae na no? Lucky. Ay lucky dai. The lucky. Ito blue. Blue eyes and then this part hazel. Hazel? Hazel, yellow and golden. <laughs> yellow and golden. Hazel and special na niya. Ah, saan mo nakuha yung ano yan, pusa na yan? Adapt. Adapted. Adapted. Sa school mo na no? Katota. Later. Okay guys, we're gonna start. Papakita ko sa inyo yung structural. Meron na tayo ditong, meron ng trusses. I'm gonna show you guys. Ito yung sa likod na part ng bahay. Yan. Sa likod tayo, hindi sa front. And, gonna go inside. Okay guys, so ito yung entrance ng entrance ng exit. <laughs> entrance ng exit. So ito yung anak ko. 
Zion, say hi Zion. Hi. Hi again. Hi. Hi. So, hi everybody. Ito yung first room. Yan. Hindi ko alam yung specification nito kung gaano kalaki. Siguro 3 by 3 And this will be our room, the master bedroom. Ito. Mas malaki siya compared sa other rooms. Tapos meron tayong like sliding window here. Diyan, malaki. Para kita natin yung view dyan sa mountains dito ah, diba and there will be a terrace here dyan tapos pag tapos na we're actually gonna add some another maliit na space dito for um for CR and parang pwedeng walk-in closet na din so this part here lagyan natin ng extension this part so and here ito yung CR for everyone yan Hindi ko alam kung ano, gaano, gaano ka taas to. But, malaki-laki din siya. Currently, nilagyan namin ng... Nilagyan namin. Nandito naka-store yung mga cement. And, dito muna tayo. Ito yung kitchen. John kitchen. Um... Niisip namin na lagyan dito na parang bar counter. Parang naka-curve dito. And the sink will be put in here. Dito banda. Tapos dito, of course, dining. And then, nga pala we have like second floor but it's not really second floor siya since meron talagang space sa taas probably another three rooms pero next time na yan pag marami pag may savings na ulit so direct siya makikita mo dyan In, oh, I mean open siya kung makikita nyo dyan open siya and here yung sala malaki laki yung sala natin guys yan as you can see tapos dito open din siya yung sa taas this part open yun na nga yung I've mentioned earlier sa parang attic-attic merong mga tatlong rooms dito sa taas so here from sala another window na naman siguro we need to cut down yung mga halaman na andito sa harap to make sure na of course makita natin yung magandang view dyan mountain ranges mga mountain ranges yan we also have palm oils dun sa unahan you can actually see yung dagat you, act, you can actually see the sea <laughs> the ocean <laughs> yun dun banda dun not entirely but yeah that's it and guys I'm gonna share with you yung trusses natin pure angle bar sya I can maybe show you sa screen kung may edit ko na and here's by the way my beautiful wife Charot wala pa naman wala pa naman Ano yan, nag, ano na, nagsasurvey na siya kung tama ba yung gawa para siyang engineer. Ayan guys, so meron akong list ng mga angle bars na binili ko. So, I spent 300,000 plus for the angle bars alone and 40% of that total amount 
ay binayad doon sa binayad sa magtatrabaho, yung welder yung gumawa neto yan, gumawa ng trusses so I'm gonna show you kung ilang pieces ng 3x16 yun, tsaka meron din mga flat bar, but karamihan doon there are I think 4 or 3 na sizes sizes bang term ng angle bars ito yung taas actually guys this is the first time na umakyat ako dito Whew. I'm a little nanginginig <laughs> nakakatakot pala dito sa taas I'm not sure kung kaya yan ito so back to the expenses para may idea kayo yung area pala based on the blueprint is around 212 square meters yan 212 yan natatakot ako pumunta doon so dito na lang ako may hagdan pa ako yan that's how high this is so yun na ah. I yun na nga we spent around 300 plus so more or less 400,000 for this trusses na magawa so we already ordered na yung color roof for the roofing of course and we paid um 200 plus for the roof and the color is brown there's a certain brown color na limot ko ko okay camellia brown i think camellia brown and then 200 around 200 pesos 200 pesos around 200,000 yung nagastos for the color roof plus 30% na bayad ng mag install so probably around 2 weeks or 1 week na lang darating na yung color roof and may install na nila so that's it guys and we also ordered na yung windows ay de na quotation pa lang but we already have the quotation guys imagine we have 11 windows quotation na aabot 200 plus naman for the windows so yung asawa ko nag i-inspect na sa yan, nag inspect na siya sa kanyang room we're gonna staying here we're gonna be staying here pagtapos na for some time oh, buho for ang si tawag anak, si Tagalog anak septic tank that's the English term not the Tagalog Filipino Poso Negro wow, galing galing so 200,000, ang sakit sakit sa bulsa guys but this is, this is what is is this is the reality now kung gagawa ka ng gagawa ka ng bahay especially when you are here sa rural area ng Bohol and the materials are very expensive like if you're going to buy um materials dyan sa mas malapit dito sa amin we are currently in Kabangahan San Roque, Mabini, Bohol guys if the 3 by 16 is worth around 600 in Tagbilaran City this is just an assumption kasi nalimot ko kung yung actual price 600 yung magiging price by piece dito sa malapit na hardware around 800 pesos you're gonna be saving a lot of money if you will buy from Tagbilaran City or you will buy from Cebu probably as for me I bought from 3A in Kugon and I have it delivered here yun and if mga corrugated bars naman yung mga tawag neto yung ginagawa yan tawag neto mga bars eto yan yan naman around 
Um, I bought it from BQ Builderwear. They are cheaper. Tapos nagdi-deliver din sila. It's if it's around 250,000 pesos, the delivery fee will be waived, but kung o oh, hindi naman it is 40 pesos per kilometer so that would be around 4000 para delivery dito sa Kabangahan which is 100 around 100 kilometers away from the city yan guys by the way meron pa tayo dito yung doors we actually have five doors yung main door it's nag ano na kami total mga 50 50,000 then for the five doors. The main door is around 12,000. Tapos yung jam ng main door, 3,000. Tapos yung mahogany na, na door is around 7,500. Tapos may jam siya na 1,5. So in total, that would be uh, 50,000 more or less. But for sure, it would be le more or less more equal to is equal to fifty thousand. So yun guys, that's the reality. Uh, ibalik ko muna yung mic. Guys, this is the reality. No, talking about reality in house building in the Philippines you need to make sinop talaga you need to be thrifty thrifty? thrifty? you need to be ma masinop in, of your money you know spend it wisely so yung mga anak ko I have currently I currently have two sons dalawang anak pa if you're gonna see this video you gonna thank your mama for being masinop and your papa for being hard working. Wag kayong mag-away if maiwan sa inyo to. Or maybe 50 years from now or 60. I'm currently 26. Whew. So, this is for you guys. This is for you. And around ano na, 6 p.m., 5.45 p.m., uuwi pa kami ng Tagbilaran. So that's it. Bye-bye na. Maraming salamat sa panunood. Thank you very much. This is Clifford from the Aeronex Vlogs. Stop muna tayo sa mga travel vlogs. I mean sa Aeronex Floor kasi nagtitipid tayo. Well, next time. That's it guys. Bye-bye.